Hey everybody, Daniel Rubino here with WP Central, and I have another Twitter app to look at today. This one's called Birdsong. It just hit the marketplace and it goes for $1.99, which is pretty expensive for a Twitter application. Luckily there is a trial version, which you can take for a test run, and that should give you a pretty good idea if you would want this app or not. My impression, it's actually really nice. Uh, is it worth two bucks? That's going to be up to you. But let's launch into it. I'll show you why I think it's pretty cool. The main reason here is because the user interface looks just like a native Windows Phone 7 app. And so it follows the dark and light themes, which is really nice, and it's also pretty simple. Uh, it's also a very fast application. Now the first time you launch it, it will cache everything. So it's going to take a long time, or it'll seem like a long time, to pull down all the data. But on the second launch, it'll go way faster. Now at the top here, you'll see you have like a little bar, and it shows you basically how many messages you have. So you can see you have your home, your mentions, and direct messages. And that counter basically updates as you get new things in. Scrolling in the app is very smooth. Actually, it's one of the more smooth ones that I've tried so far. But it just operates very nicely. Let's see if I can open a tweet here. So that's your basic tweet window. It doesn't have a text box, meaning, of course, when we get copy and paste, you won't be able to copy this information. But that could be something that can be added later. Information is laid out very nicely. I like the color scheme for the links and everything. In fact, if we click a link, it opens up an integrated Internet Explorer, so you don't actually leave the application. This works pretty nicely. So now I can just back up and go right back into the application. I really like that. I think it's nice. Also, if there, you have a photo uh, attached to a tweet, it will show the photo in line, which is also a great feature. For options, you have your basic retweet. Um, I'm not sure. Ah, uh, look at that. You have retweet or retweet with comment. Fantastic. Having both options is definitely preferable to one or the other. So that's another great feature for this. Anyways, we can scroll here. You have your mentions. Now my mentions are great because they're always already pre-cached, so they're all here, it's not pulling down anything. That makes using this app a lot more quick, uh, quick than some of the other ones. Of course you have messages. Now what's cool about this too, here's like Zoom support. You'll see it has a little counter over here, and that's because these messages are threaded. Unfortunately I don't have any response here. Oh. Not sure if I think I accidentally backed out there. Anyways, let's launch into it. I'll show you what the threaded looks like without hopefully seeing my messages. So there you go, it shows everything back and forth with your little pick icon. Uh, this is a feature I think many people have been wanting to see in a Twitter app, and it works very nicely here. <laughs> you can see there's a delay a little bit when you hit the back button, so you have to kind of give it a chance. Hopefully that can be addressed later on. Under Settings, you have your home mentioned messages. You can also add things like add a list or add a saved search or a new search, which is really cool. and It'll be put up in that area up here so you can quickly access it and then you just have an about screen. Let's just show a new tweet what that will look like. It's a very basic screen. You have your little text box up here and the most important thing of course is it does do landscape nicely. Under options here you can of course do a photo. It doesn't look like it can do GPS tagging to a tweet but if someone else has it, integrates with Bing, and so it'll pull down their geo information. Uh, 
Uh, so there you go. That's the basic app right there. I really like it. It's fast. It's quick. It's got all the features I really want in it. It's nicely laid out. And it's kind of, I don't know, it's pretty solid. Is it worth the two bucks? Depends how much you tweet. Like I said, give the trial, you know, a shot, see if you like it. And head over to WP Central and we'll link to the developer's blog where you can read more about it. So take care, everybody.